Meantime, COVID-19 has tested the nation's medical system and made health care access for some even more challenging. But even before the pandemic, one woman died every 12 hours from pregnancy related causes and more than 50,000 women experience life threatening complications every year. In light of the pandemic and the maternal and infant health crisis that is particularly devastating to underserved families of color, now the March of Dimes is encouraging Houston area residents to unite and join the March for Babies. Taisha Walker shows us the steps being taken to support mothers and babies in tonight's Stronger Houston report. Joaquin is a happy four-year-old who loves to run, jump, and play. You're getting bigger. Ah! Joaquin and his mother, Norma Hernandez, are close. I don't know what would happen if I had another one. And I don't think it would be fair to him if I try to have another one and I don't make it. Hernandez had a difficult pregnancy. When she was 33 weeks along, she went to a hospital with flu-like symptoms. The fact that they kept telling me over and over again that I could have a stroke at any moment and it could kill both of us. Joaquin was born six weeks premature. Joaquin is, he's very special to me. Not just because he's my son, but he had to be my hero. Texas is among the worst states for mothers to give birth, according to the March of Dimes. Mississippi has the worst rating. 11% of babies born in Texas are premature. It's almost 12% in Houston. Both are above the national average. For black women, the preterm rate is 39%, more than any other race. Women of color are also at a greater risk of dying during pregnancy or childbirth than white women. House Bill 420 was introduced as legislative session to establish a task force to study maternal mortality rates and causes among black women and would then make recommendations. The history of this country has really perpetuated and led to these inequities that we experience today. Stacey Stewart is the president and CEO of March of Dimes. Stewart says racism, discrimination and implicit bias in the health care system all play a role in the quality of care many moms and babies of color receive. Black women and brown women who've expressed that they don't feel respected and heard um, when it comes time to have prenatal care, when it even comes time for child care and delivery, if they have complications. Tuan Mackey is 13 weeks pregnant with her second child. She's using a midwife for both her prenatal care and her childbirth, unlike her first pregnancy. When I went to go and deliver her, it was very impersonal. We do follow those mothers a lot closer because we are concerned uh, about the care that they're going to get. Licensed midwife Darlene Shrevener says, Inequities in the healthcare system do exist. She says since the pandemic, more expectant moms are seeking midwives and doulas for more one on one care. There's more to birth than only ending up with a live mom and live baby. There's also a healthy mom and healthy baby. Shrivener says providing women with resources and support before and after childbirth can make a difference. Through policy changes, through um, increasing access to care, through making sure that women are highly informed and educated and have the resources that they need. <laughs> Close their mouths, you know. Something Hernandez credits March of Dimes for providing while pregnant with Joaquin. Thank you, March of Dimes. Houston's March for Babies will take place on May 15th virtually. Funds will help March of Dimes continue its fight to help all mothers and babies. For how to register, just visit the story on clicktohouston.com. From the Med Center, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. And if you have a story idea for our Stronger Houston series, we would love to hear from you. Go to our website at clicktohouston.com to submit your idea. In the meantime,